smartphone world, it's easy to forget that disaster could strike at any moment. That's why, as a public service, I want all of you to be ready with what I call mad crazy survival skills. Here to show us is combat veteran, survivalist, and certified ninja, also known as Black MacGyver, Hakeem Isler. Y'all give it up for him. Okay, so for the moms at home, why do we need to learn survival skills? In a world like today, we have survival is a hot topic. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's disasters right here in your own backyard. You got fires, blizzards, there's floods going on. So there everyone needs to know. Everyone needs to know at least the basics. And you know, moms, more than myself, Dr. Phil, or any, any of us guys, moms, especially you ladies, are more prepared than anyone. I'm a Girl Scout. You're a Girl Scout, <laughs> especially if you're a Girl Scout. Exactly. Especially if you're a Girl Scout. Right? And so what I, what I want to say is like moms have survival gear all the time, all day long. If you just look at a diaper bag, for instance, mm -hmm. right? You have inside a diaper bag, you have water, you have snacks, you have a first aid kit, you got sunscreen, you got four kids, right? Yes. So you carry all that. You probably got like five I'm like a bags. Sherpa. <laughs> That's every time I get in my yeah. damn car, I'm like, good lord. <laughs> <laughs> so, but things, there are things in a, in a diaper bag that we may not think about. For instance, we have... Antibacterial. Oh. Yeah, we got hand sand. And yes. hand sand has a high content of alcohol. You can use this to start a fire. You can use it to make a small little stove out of a can if you needed to. Yeah. All right, so that's one aspect of that. And then also you have a diaper, right? A yes. diaper, right? So a diaper has in it, it has a thing called sodium polyapylate, right? Yeah. So and that thing, that basically is something that it, it's used on planes to, as a fire retardant. So when you get fires happening, and they, they dump it out of planes. You ever see that on television yeah, or yeah. something like that? So what that does is it's very absorbent. So if you have a cut or something on you, you can use this as a bandage. bandage. Exactly. Really? You can use it as a bandage. You can use it as a ice pack if you need it to. Uh, the cotton inside of it can be used to start fires as well. My All gosh. right. Wow. So that's what we have here in our diaper bag. I mean, are y'all like, that's crazy. That's I didn't yep. know you could do that with I a diaper. I have no idea. Yep. OK, let's Maybe. move down. What's yep. in here? Yep. OK. So if you don't have a diaper bag, one of the things that you could have is you have a purse on you. This purse will have all these different things. You have your compact, the mirror. The mirror could be used to signal if you were out in the woods somewhere, if you were lost, right? Mm -hmm. And one thing, that, and some things in here that people don't even think about is lipstick, right? So lipstick, you Shoot, can I use. ain't got that in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> so if you get lost or stranded somewhere and you decide you want to walk somewhere, you can write on your window where you're going. Oh. And because, the, because it doesn't come off easy, even if it rains, it's not going to wash off the car. Yeah. But another thing that people don't know about lipstick is that it has an oil in it. And that oil will allow you to burn fire. things. Yes, yeah. to do fire. So if you had some cotton and the cotton burns really fast, you can slow that down by adding some lipstick to that and turn it into like a wick. Right? Man, when, yeah. when it hits the fan, I hope I'm near you. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Another thing we have is a credit card. Everybody has mm. a credit card. Yeah. Now, if you want to, you can also, you can use a credit card to like pick a lock or get inside a lock mm -hmm. or something of that nature. But if you use it and scrape it against concrete, you can abrade it and you can use that for cutting as a cutting tool. Or a weapon. As a weapon, yeah. exactly, so that you could defend yourself, right? So <laughs> this is another aspect of things that we have that we carry on us all the time that we can use for survival. Wow, right? I love it. OK. What's happening here? All right, you don't have any of that stuff on you. What can we use? What can we use? We can use the bra. It's so helpful. Right? So the bra is definitely yes. something that can be used for not only uh, helps survival. Helps against gravity. <laughs> yep. it helps against gravity. <laughs> yeah. You can use this. You can put it on as a mask. So when we had 9-11, oh, wow. you had all the dust going through the yeah. world. Yeah. Or so even all these can, fires. Yeah, or the fires, yeah, yeah. right? So if you dip it in water, if you have the fire, you can use it to help against smoke, right, so that you can breathe. And then if you also have dust that's going around, you can help to keep the dust out. You can use it as a dust filter. You can also use this as a water filter. Right? So oh. if you wanted to filter your water through it, keep all the big stuff out, get clean water out of the bottom, you can use it. Let's take this one right here. Okay. Dr. Phil, if Dr. Phil tries to push me in the chest. I feel like I should right? get out of the way. Oh, no, stay in there. <laughs> stay in the middle. Right? Dr. Phil comes, he pushes me on the chest. I knock his hands down. I can use this to come up. Okay. And I can use it to you choke. You get choked out by a bra. <laughs> <laughs> right? You now, didn't think that happened today. You didn't think, you didn't see that coming at all. 
Only in Hollywood. Exactly. <laughs> now, he's my buddy. He's injured, right? So I don't want to choke him. Well, I want to keep him alive. Me, <laughs> I injured him. Now I want to help him, right? Sure. right? So I'm going to take this. I'm going to use it as a sling. I'm going to put that over Dr. <laughs> Phil's head. I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to bring his elbow up here. Put that right on his elbow. Oh my God, I love today. Let's go back to the okay. elbow. He's, yep. he's a tall man. There you we go. He you is a tall man. You might need a larger cup size. Yeah. Yeah. You might need a bigger cup elbow. size. But. Nope. <laughs> nope. That was her joke. You he put his hands hear. right through there. <laughs> that, that hand. This hand? Yep, yes, sir. And yeah. then we bring oh. this up. And yeah. Back around? Back around. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, hey, but it did work. Sling. Yeah. You're about to get choked. Right? And now you're really getting right? choked. Uh, Dr. Phil, how are you feeling about this? I'm feeling like Robin would never believe it. <laughs> I will not stop talking until you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's right, and I can talk a lot. Seriously, not going to stop. Yep, still here, not going anywhere. I see you. Don't walk away from this.